The following content is not meant for children. Hello, hello, and welcome everyone to Hard Space Shipbreaker. I'm Maester Alix, and I'm so excited to make this series for you. Uh, I've been playing this game a lot lately, and as you see by my main save file here, I've uh, already made over a hundred billion or a hundred million dollars, so I thought it's time for me to start another profile and record a few excellent videos for you. As you see, we are really early on in the game version. 0.1.2 update. So, yeah, early days, things are probably going to change. I'm probably going to restart this series a couple times as things update. And I do plan on this being a somewhat limited series because while this game is fun, uh, it's also very repetitive. It is exceedingly grindy, so, you know, having 10 episodes of me tearing apart the same ship may not be the best content. However, uh, for having someone who's done this for a little bit now, starting a new one, you know what? I can, uh, enjoy some, you know, early ships again with some newfound skills and some practice under my belt, which is why the limit of 30 clones is not really going to be a problem for me. At least I don't think so. And uh, I'd also like to point out they did add in this new, uh, open shift with unlimited clones and you don't have to worry about ti shift timers and all that, but since my videos are about 15 minutes long anyway, and the shift timer is 15 minutes, I f thought this was also serendipitously perfect. So, let's begin. Although this being episode one, I will not have this be 15 minutes long. Humankind has industrialized much of the solar system. Earth has deteriorated into a place of squalor and decay. In orbit, a new breed of worker has emerged. The Shipbreaker. The labor is extremely dangerous. But for a select few, the hazard pay is worth the risk. Okay. Emergent Power, Lynx Corporation. Ah! Shipbreaker application. Pave the way to the Galaxy program. Update your application status. Alright, I'm not going to read all this. Finalize your info on the following pages to confirm employment. Account name. Well, since I already used Alix in another one, I'm going to use another uh, standby name I like to use a lot. Walter Giznep. And if you know the reference, then you know this is how it looks like it should be pronounced. Alright, so only 30 clones... Not a problem. Voice ID verification coming soon. 
uh, standard controls, please. And uh, let's go plastic free. Chicken sounds good. Vegetarian should be all right. Plastic free sounds healthiest. Entom Entomotarian. I'm not sure what that is, and I fear it's uh, bugs. So plastic free. I have no criminal record in the Terra or Martian zones. A record of the Jovian frontier is acceptable. I am not a member of, nor have ever associated with, a workers' union or other labor interest. Oh boy. I have completed my annual medical exam and have been cleared of having Macaulay's lung. I have no commercial or real estate interest in Luna, the asteroid belt, or the nation state of Arizona. No, I'm from Chicago. I will bring positive attitude and to and problem-solving mindset to my work every day. Gosh golly, I will. I understand and accept that health risks are associated with long-term exposure to Vanderwall's fields. And I will vote for Chancellor Chung Zheng in the Pan-American Senate election. Oh my. Shipbreaker employment terms and conditions. And of course, we're going to skip the training. Well, that is good. I've done it a couple times now. And for this series, we want to get started on the good stuff. So press and hold thumb scanner. All right. Hello, Link Salvage. It's so good to see you again, my friend. Let us begin. Good morning, Shipbreaker. Reminder. All right, so here is our habitation module. Here is the things we need to do to get ourselves our next level of certification, which is important for getting better ships and, more importantly, uh, equipment upgrades. Let's see, we've got no comms. Certification is on its way. We're rank four, which is nice. And do we have any? We do have some uh, Lynx tokens, LT. So, all of our gear is at 100%, which is great. Let's see. Audio recent, not that important. Suit integrity, kind of important. Helmet, O2 capacity, most important. We are buying that right now. Let's see. Scan mode? Can we afford that? No, we're 25 short. Alright, well that's not so great. Thrusters? Can I get a top speed? Nope, nope. Alright, well. Let's see, grapple license? We got. Range strength. More tethers would be good, but we're gonna need more LT for that. And. Ah, uh, the range. Oh well. Let's go earn some LT. How you do that is by doing work ob work order objectives. And uh, when you come out into the sh yard, you'll see. All right. So what ship do we want to start with? What has the most value? Well, if you do have the four engines, that would be great. Flame ship? Yes, please. All right, Cutter. Now that you've completed your training, you're only about a billion credits away from paying off your debt to Lynx. I know the thought of making 10,000 credits, let alone a billion, sounds impossible right now. But I can assure you it is within your reach, if you put in work. You've got the DNA to be a great salvager one day. Literally. Your report here says your blood work confirmed ideal genetic makeup. Physique, intelligence, and psychological profile for the position of shipbreaker. I'm guessing that means Lynx thinks you're less likely to blow yourself up. Let's see if they're on to something. Complete your work order and return here to your hab when you're ready for another ship. And careful with that reactor. One false move and you're a goner. And a whole lot of credits pour. Good luck, Cutter. Weaver out. Thank you, Weaver. Alright, so let's go work on the exterior of the ship. You saw me tear off a couple of antennas, and those are sent down into the barge for proper processing. Now, not everything goes to the barge, but a lot of good things do. So, let's see. We'll cut these engines off. Alright, I'm going to hook it up with a tether and send it down to the barge in a controlled manner. You? All right, and then we get that one. Marvelous. Tether, controlled manner. Let's go two blocks higher. There we go. 
So one thing I've learned is that you want to be organized with your barge because only one item goes into each of those squares. Now, on a ship like this, it's not going to be overcrowded soon, but... All right. Now, I would normally just tear this thruster part off, but you see it says danger? Means the ship is still pressurized, so we're going to get a lot of gas venting if I do that. So we're not going to do that, at least not right now. Okay. Yeah. Closer. There we go. Oh, I missed my long range. Oh. All right. You can go right there. Yo. All right. And oops. come on, come on. There we go. There we go. And you can go. Go blocks higher. There. Deposit accepted. Credit transfer. Yolo. Okay. So that's it for the base exterior stuff. Now we'll go interior. And, you know, deal with this air that's stuck in there. Salvage secured. Account credit applied. Oh, by the way, the work credit the work orders I was talking about, we're gonna hit the tab key. So I need a one reactor, one power cell, a lot of nanocarbon, and a lot of metal. We can do that. So we're going to activate this airlock. It's going to suck the air out of the airlock. Open the door. We're going to cycle this on. Airlock pressure levels increasing. Lovely. Now I'm going to take a quick look around, see if there's anything spectacular I want to pick up right away. Like one of these data drives. Ooh, is it? Uh, that's uh, what? Spare oxygen? Excellent. We will take care of that in a minute. Ooh, repair kits. I love these things. All right. Nothing else spectacular. No keys floating around, at least not yet. All right. So now we're going to draw all the air out of the ship. Air pressure level decreasing. There we go. That opens up the cockpit. And we're going to go head to the back. Hey, they left some snacks behind. How nice of them. Alright, so we're going to take this door off. Just pull. Uh, there we go. Okay. So there's that reactor he was talking about. We want to be careful with that. So what I'm going to do is blow the bottom out of this ship. One. Two. There we go. Turn to the tether machine and then we're going to tap the key to boop it. There we go. We're going to slow it down so it doesn't end up in the barge where it doesn't go. This goes to the processor. Just the blue one. Up, 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 up. Come on. Up there. Caution. Tether supplies are low. I know. But not gone. And so let's get that reactor. We're going to hook a tether from there to, I like to put it right between the arrows. Lover. And since I gave myself a thumbs up, that is me telling myself I completed a work order. So now we need to find a power cell and all that. But one thing we're going to do to make that a little easier, A, don't forget to tear, rip off this light. It's not worth much, but let's not throw away money, shall we? Boop it. Awesome. Alright. Salvage secured. So let's go take the back of the ship off. We're going to take these big chunk and uh, connector points and burn those away. And burn those away. There we go. And that. And that. And that should start moving things along. We're going to also chop this top off while we're here because why not? And since the uh, this bit also goes to the processor. I'm not really worried about uh, this going off to where it shouldn't, so into the processor with you. Go! Yoink! There we go. Straight in. Get ourselves some money. Awesome. Valuable object processed. Credit now, deposited. let's check our scanner. See if there's anything... Oh yeah, okay. So we see that there's fuel tanks on there, which means the uh, back of the ship is not going to attach until we get to those f fuel tanks, or at least one of them. 
So, we're going to turn on the split cutter. We're going to cut ourselves a hole in this wall. Now, if we use those big, chunky uh, bars as guides, we should only need to make two cuts. And I'm not going to go too far in because I don't want to... Yeah, see? I don't want to go too far in because I don't want to accidentally cut that fuel line. So, we're going to go this should be free now. I need you to head back to the kiosk on the starting platform to fill up your road to that. Oh, good. So we can pick up uh, more tethers and more oxygen. Now, oxygen is one of those timers in the game that I really enjoy. It uh, helps keep me working and uh, humble. You know what? Let's reel ourselves in. There we go. Slow down. There we go. Oxygen. Tethers. And... And we're good. We'll just yank ourselves back to the ship. And just make sure we don't smack ourselves into the ship. There we go. Up. All right. And my plan did not work as fully as intended, but that's fine. Just make a little cut here. And a little cut here. There we go. Now that should pull out. But it doesn't. Why? Ah, oh, come on. What? Game. Okay, that's it. It doesn't like this. It doesn't like it when I vaporize stuff like that, but you know what? That's too damn bad. Alright, those connections. And does this have a handle? No. Or does it? No. Okay, so what we're gonna do. We're going to gingerly back the hell off as best we can in this limited space into the air. We go. We're gonna carefully move that fuel pod. And yay, I didn't smack myself in the face this time. And this thing's slightly volatile, because you know, starship fuel. We're gonna carefully move that into the barge. There we go. Now, I think with just one of those being undone, the whole back starts moving. No? Okay. And we'll try this again. Halfway through. And along the top. And along the bottom. Did you... Why are you not pulling out? Ah. Jerk wall. There's five minutes remaining in this shift. Get in while the getting's good. I right. will. While we're here, we'll... Please avoid damaging value. Yeah, well... Trust me. It's one of those... Remo uh, remove a small bit to save a large bit. Ah, you know what? Probably these things. There we go. Oh yeah, see? Now the back end is moving. All right. Get this into the processor. Doop, 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 doop. Boop! All right. Now we can get the whole back end moving. It's gonna take it. Oh, right, right, right. Hold on. Get that thruster cap out of the way. Boop. Boop. No, no. In, 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 in. There you go. And we want this. This is important. It's basically the uh, engine. So pull that out. And we'll get a tether on that. Ooh. Put that at the tip of the uh, arrows. This is surprisingly light. There we go. I'll get off to the side. Go to the side. That way, when we do tethers, it's not wonky. Ba bam And there she goes. That'll be a lot of nanocarbon for me. Alright. One more 
light for the barge. And since this piece has been removed, Salvage go. Yoink. There you go. Salvage nanocarbon is complete. All right. Get this into the processor. That light. I have turned myself around. Right, just gonna. Yeah, there we go. Salvage so I secured. do Count properly know where the barge is. Okay. You can go down there. Boop. And we'll tether that to the processor. Bye! Salvage deposit accepted. Credits transferred. Alright. So we're gonna carefully double cut that. And then get that out. The only thing left to do is the power cell. So we're gonna get that in the next two minutes. So you eat yourself into the processor, thanks. Yay! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, so that purple thing is the uh, power cell we're looking for. So since it is extremely dangerous, I'm going to be extremely cautious and only use the, like, direct burn cutter so I don't accidentally nick that thing. And is there anything on top? Yes, there's this one on top over there. Probably not for the piece that we're working on, but I'd rather be safe than sorry. Alright, and then we're going to do this trick. Tether you, and then while you're going, Grab the light. Gra grab the light. Or not. Oh well. Hey, I got the light off. Alright, come here, come here. Come here. Come here. Yes, yes. Yay. Barely made it. Okay. Now, since I want this power unit, but I want it controlled, we're going to use a tether. Slam that down. There's fine. And there she goes. Quick and easy. And that is... Now, technically, I don't need to work on this ship any further. But, I'm going to. Because there's a lot more to salvage. Oh, I did not cut that fully out. Alright. Not a problem. We're going to go carefully around to this cryopod. Because, again, that's another dangerous thing. It's not the most dangerous. It's not going to really screw your day up. It'll just make, make you uncomfortable. Mm, I got 30 seconds left of my shift and 90 seconds worth of oxygen. I'm okay. So we're gonna rip that si that sucker out. Fling that into the barge. Hooray. And since we're not really gonna get a whole lot more done, might as well get these cheap lights. There you go. One more. Cheap light, go! Alright. One, zero. Lovely, lovely. So I made 1.7 million credits, and I destroyed one pipe junction and one panel of aluminum. I could have avoided the uh, pipe junction. I, I really should have left that attached. But, as you see, some of the more important things. Those nacelles, very important. Nanocarbon panels, basically the outside of the ship. The, re the reactor and the thruster. All very important stuff. So, we got all the really big ticket items this shift. Next shift, we're going to hope for some more uh, quantity over quality. So, good morning, Shipbreaker. Good morning. All right. 400,000 in uh, interest, rental fees, and all sorts of other ungreat stuff. But we started taking a dent out of our billion dollar debt. And we've gotten two out of the three things we need to get our next certification. So I need to finish two more work orders, get 15 pieces of furniture, and make five million. All right, but the reactor and power cell are done. And as we've used them, our stuff has started to break down, but we're above 50, so I'm not gonna use the repair kits yet. But let's see. Cutter, range, yes please. And I don't think that leaves me... 137, yeah, I'd get the same problem as I did last time. But now I don't have to be quite so close. And did I pick up? I did. Alright, we're going to get this comms real quick. As we defragment. 
All right, we got the Machine God, an audio log. I will uh, not be playing that for the on this video, but perhaps in the future. All right, let us continue salvaging the rest of this ship. All right, as you see on the bar above, we've got a little over half the ship left to salvage. And you know what? That's fine by me. All right, so we nearly completed this side. I mean, all the big important stuff we totally did. We just got some lights over here that, you know, the completionist in me that would not allow me to not use. Yoink. Get out of here. All right. Salvage Two. Secured. Credits deposited. And three. Come here. Come here. Come here. There you are. All right. All right, now we go to the back side. And there's some floating debris I noticed. Out of the corner of my eye, there you go. To the furnace. Thank you. Oh, and you too. Oh, but your processor, because you're nanocarbon chunk. Cool. All right. So, we got ourselves, uh, now on this side we got ourselves a new challenge. That would be the airlock. So, first let's clean up. Alright. And we get ourselves that air, last piece of lighting. Doop, doop, doop. And go. Tether this. Warning. No tethers remaining. Salvage deposit accepted. Really? Credit oh. transferred. I thought that got refreshed after every shift. Oh well. Now that's my fault for being a silly. Slow down. There we go. Welcome to Vendetta. Oh, while we're here, might as well refresh our oxygen while we get our tethers. Oop, oop. Did not mean to uh, hit escape there, and unfortunately, if you hit escape while while doing that, you turn off the music. Oh, and there's that's like a big chunk of the atmospheric qualities. Oh well. I will learn to live and deal. So, get this panel into the processor. Go! Bye! Alright. Now I think I've messed this up. Oh no, it still works. Okay. There you go. Oh, there's the keys. Nice. Well, a lot of these small ships will just have these keys floating around. And while they're not important right this minute, they are important. They, they will be used in the future. So, let's go clear, clean out the interior of the ship, because there's a lot of good stuff here. The easiest thing to do then is just blast out the floor, because all the stuff that needs to go to the barge is through the floor. Well, gently, gently boop that floor chunk, slow it down, and send it to the processor. Why? There you go. We'll go up. Do doobly doop. Processing valuable object. Okay, this goes to the processor, so we'll get out through the floor. That was my face. Come on, out, buddy, out. There we go. This seems to be light enough to just boop. Yeah, yeah. All right. So. Get this control panel down to the barge. Boop. There you go. Got this electrical thing. Get that down to the barge. Now, I always think that these electrical things should stop sparking now that the pop main power thing is out of the way. But you know what? Uh, people point out, you know, there are capacitors. Those things could hold the charge. I go, you know what? You're absolutely right. And now we can get some of that furniture we need for our certification. Though it's not part of the work order, it'll still be good. Salvage secured. Credits deposited. Okay. Ignoring the little lights for now, is there any other big thing? Ah. Control panel. Later in the game, these control panels become invaluable as they are a source of mechanical. As uh, you need to get some mechanical things uh, on many work orders. Okay. Spare oxygen. Let's see. Don't need the spare oxygen right this second, but let's not destroy it. No. 
Put that panel off. Doop -doop -doop. Doop -doop -doop -doop. And away you go. And oh, silly me. Come on, there you go, light. Bye. Come on. Yay. Salvage secured. Account credit applied. Good. All right, we'll get all these roof bits. All right, and you. Then we'll get the uh, light because we want it. And I'm getting all disoriented now. Part of the fun of this game is like, wait, which way's up? Salvage deposit accepted. Credit all right, transferred. got those two roof bits, so we'll get those into the processor. Do 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 do. Come on, let go. All right. So you to that processor. Bye. And then you to that processor. Toodles. There we go. And then pick up that soda can. Get that in the furnace. Mostly for my OCD. There we go. Processing valuable object. Credits awarded. Back crisps. Bye. Oh. Uh. All right. Chair. There. This chair. Almost there. there go. Secured. And the, part of the reason why I'm not tearing the floor out with the chairs on it is I don't want to accidentally burn them when I'm cutting through that support beam. So it's easy. It's just as easy. Just lift a little accepted. and Credit chunk it. And these chairs are actually worth quite a lot of money. So this is probably going to be where we're making most our money Salvage this shift. Secured. Account credit applied. And our oxygen's getting a little low, so I'm going to just take this one. Yoink. Thank you. All right, floorboard. Time for you to find yourself a new home. Not on the ship. Okay. You into the processor. Okay, so let's see if we can just get that cockpit detached. Get ourselves access to the side beyond the uh, airlock. There we go. See, it's moving, so we can just boop that along. That's not what I wanted. Okay. Clearing out the airlock, or not the airlock, the cockpit is another excellent source of wealth. Now, the, the light, not so much. But furniture, the storage Salvage bins, secured. the computers, Credit especially the computers. Chairs are good too. Don't, don't get me wrong. Oh, oh boy. No, you'll make it. You'll make it, right? No, you didn't make it. Come back. Back valuable chair. No, no auto targeting. What are you doing? Get it, get it, get it. There we go. Pull you in close, pull you in close, gingerly place you in the barge. There you go. Salvage deposit accepted. Credits transferred. Thank you. Alright, get turn ourselves around. Up we go. Eh. Come on. Now I thought I saw something floating. Oh, just, just a soda bottle. Alright. Alright, well, while we're here, then. Right, pull this chair out. Okay, come on. I need to go lower. Go. Pull this chair out. Pull this chair out. There we go. To the barge. Barge it. There we go. Salvage secured. Alright, so. Credit applied. This thing's probably going to spark. We're gonna... There we go, yeah. Don't want it to ruin our computers. So we're gonna get that about there. Okay. Salvage secured. Hello, Credit Soda. Deposited. Die, Soda. Ha ha ha. Alright. Get that computer terminal on top. There we go. Reel it in gently. And then fling that off to the side. There we go. 
we go. There we go. Whoa. Ah. I pooped myself a little too much on that computer terminal. All right. There we go. A nice firm connection. And you can go right about there. You got five minutes left in this shift. Knock out that work order before they turn the lights out on you. Weaver. We got it. Thank you, Weaver. Much appreciated. Your, you know, what your uh, mother hen ways. Boop. All right. Just got to get these four storage things. Which, being long and slender, can sometimes be a challenge, but since we're going out not sideways, should not be a problem. Two. Salvage secured. All right. Account credit applied. Atmosphere computer thing. Atmosphere regulator, that's what it's called. There we go. Salvage and some of the bigger ships, the, one of the, some of the work transfer. orders like, get 16 storage containers. And you're like, oh my, that's... A lot. Okay. Nope, nope, don't don't overcorrect. There we go. And let's see, we got one for you. Alright. Woo. Alright. Fling. Make it. There you go. I think there's a secured. one more. Yeah. Don't want to forget this. Down you go. Away. Alright. Just to make sure, we're gonna take one last look around here. And you can come to you can come with me to the furnace. I'd rather just, you know, keep you and drink you. Because you appear to be that brand of soda that I most enjoy. Alright, well, to the furnace, because it says so. Alright, now, did I successfully remove the <clears throat> the front of the ship? From everything else, I hope so. Yes, yes I did. So which means I'm going to fling this into the furnace, but I'm only going to use one tether for now. So I can get an offset. There we go, there we go. So I can get into that side panel. And I'm going to cut the tether once we can get proper access. There we go. Now I can get to that side, not worry about the uh, airlock being in the way. And why I'm throwing the cockpit into the furnace is because there's a lot more... Uh, well, there is some nanocarbon, and the game will yell at me for throwing nanocarbon into the furnace. There's glass and aluminum and other things that are all part of this airlock structure. That it wants Salvage the metal for more. Besides, I'm saving this chunk of nanocarbon siding, basically. Eat this. Thank you. Eat that into the barge. Yeet. Okay. So, you go to the processor. Salvage deposit accepted. Credits transferred. There we go. Now you all go into the furnace. One, two, now you can go quickly. Yes. And that leaves this airlock, which is its own set of challenges. And for these small airlocks, ooh, how dare I forget that. Bad Alex, bad. Oh, there we go. Oxygen critical. Well, we got... 90 seconds of oxygen. Oh, yeah. We'll be fine, but I'm going to still grab this. Yoink. Yoink. Valuable component incinerated. Don't do that. Yeah, see, Time destroyed a lot of nanocarbon. Dig deep and let's you know what? Uh, I will. No tethers available. Well, that's less than ideal. Can I start dragging this this way to the furnace? No. No, yes, yes, no. Probably not. Well, you know, normally if I, I if I wasn't trying to explain things, I would have gone faster. Best way to do it with the airlock is to cut it out, and usually it's with these uh, these bars here. You know, get these, it's all around, but you've got this connection bar here and this connection bar there that prevents that. So at this point, I would take out this 
and just usually just fling this whole superstructure into the furnace. Again, not caring about this last little bit of nanocarbon, but I'm also out of tethers, so we're not going to worry about that. We're just going to call this one done. We've thrown a significant portion of the ship into the re proper receptacles. So another one million. There you go. So we got a lot of nanocarbon, got the airlock consoles, the seats were really good, uh, storage bins, 96,000 there. Yeah, and the glass at the front, it's not a whole, worth a whole lot, but still it's better than nothing. So one million down. I mean, ideally I would have liked to have gotten that superstructure in, but it is what it is. And we get to keep about half of that. Hooray! Yeah, that's one more reason why I really want to start working up that certification tree. Is so we can purchase our own equipment. It's like that we need rank 8. This we need rank 6. 7. 6. 9. And 10. It's always this bottom one. And that'll remove their rental cost. Alright, so the cutter, we're going to re we're going to uh, repair that. Yes, with the five repair kits we have. Oh, I did the wrong one. Oh well. There we go. Now we're all set for next time. Lovely, lovely. So, since we've completed the ship, here's where I'm going to say thank you all for joining me. I really hope you're enjoying this series as much as I'm enjoying making it for all of you. If you do, please remember to like comment, subscribe, and of course, check out the links down below where you can find awesome links, including my uh, Teespring store where you can get all the Maester Alex merch you could ever want or need. And with that being said, I shall see you all next time.